Breaking news in menopause. We've all been told that obesity is bad for the heart, but what if it's not just the amount of fat that you have, but where it's stored and the hormones that drive it. This new study used the UK Biobank and looked at 21,000 people. It used advanced imaging plus machine learning to tell how fast the cardiovascular system is aging. What they call the cardiovascular age delta, your actual age versus your cardiac age. And they looked at men versus women. For both men and women, more visceral fat as measured by advanced imaging was deleterious for heart health. Remember, visceral fat is different than subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat under the skin. Visceral fat is here, the fat in the abdominal cavity around the organs. The more fat around the organs, the more fat inside of the liver and the more fat inside of the muscle drove cardiovascular aging. But for women, things look differently than men. Gynoid fat, fat around the hips and thighs was actually protective of cardiovascular disease. For men, gynoid fat was harmful, total trunk fat was harmful, and estradiol levels in men were harmful for cardiovascular disease aging. But gynoid fat, total trunk fat, and estradiol levels were protective in women. But that was pre-menopausal women. Once menopause hits, we lose that protection, probably because we lose the estradiol. And in men, estradiol levels predicted faster cardiovascular aging. Same hormone, different sex effect. Estrogen, as we know, protects the female cardiovascular system, not just through symptoms like hot flashes, but on a cellular and vascular level. So it's no surprise that in the WHI data, women who started hormone therapy within the first 10 years of their menopause or before the age of 60 showed a decreased rate of cardiovascular disease. Another important point, BMI, body mass index, is a poor predictor of cardiovascular aging, especially in women. Any women who were labeled as overweight or obese by BMI actually had normal protective fat patterns. Once again, a one-size-fits-all tool failed women specifically. So the take-home message, women's cardiovascular aging is profoundly shaped by hormones and fat distribution. Before menopause, estrogen levels and gynoid fat are protective of the cardiovascular system. After menopause, we lose that protection and the risks climb. Any research that doesn't take sex differences seriously is failing females. So ladies, it's not just about your weight, where your fat is stored, how your hormones shift, and how we support your body through menopause is important. This is why sex-specific medicine is not optional.